This is code.org, and we are going to use an if statement and the is on paint method to move forward one square if the paint or object is standing on paint. Let's first see what we have here. What's this all doing? Okay, so we have our painter object. Ooh, and we even paint. Okay, and let's see what they want us to do. Boom. Oh, so we're supposed to move forward one. Now, it would be really easy to go, uh, let's see, how do we move the painter? Notice I go under the comment. That's where they want the code. Uh, my painter don't move. So my painter don't move, right? Pretty standard stuff here. Look, Mr. Geyser, I did it. It's 100. We're good to go here. This isn't what they want, though. It needs to happen based on a condition. So it looks the same, but it's not right. We need to use an if statement. We have to ask the question. So show me how. Use your resources, guys. This is excellent. So right here, that shows us what they need. So we're not just allowed to move no matter what. They only want us to move under certain circumstances or under a certain condition. So I'm going to write if. I'll leave this blank for now just because I always forget to do the curly brackets and hit enter. And that way I know I have all this syntax, all this required stuff already done. Now, we need to ask the computer a question in the parentheses, right? We're asking the computer if what. So computers respond in true and false, right? Boolean values, binary, zero being false, one being true. We need to ask a question. They even give us an idea is on paint. Now, keep in mind, if I throw is on paint in here, the computer is going to yell at me because it doesn't know what I am talking about. Is on paint method doesn't just exist here. It exists somewhere in our painter class. So to be able to use this, to be able to run this code or to be able to ask this question, I need to tell it what. What object am I talking about? And the object that has this method, the object that can do this, we create up here. My painter is what is representing a painter object. And therefore, my painter can do is on paint. We have to tell the computer each detail. And the detail here is what are we asking about who's on paint? My painter. Now, an if statement only runs if this is true. So if I am not, if the painter is not on paint, no code will run in here. However, if I am on the paint, the code will run. So they want us to move if we're on paint. My painter dot move, bam. Let's give that a shot. That looks pretty good. I do want to prove my point about if statements, guys. So we don't need to do this, but I'm going to copy this, hit enter twice, and paste it. Because I want to show you. So now, notice I end here. So now I should definitely move one more time, right? And end here. I hope you told me I was lying, because I definitely would not move one more time. Because I am, when this runs, I'm no longer on the wet paint. When this if statement runs, I was standing here, so I move forward. However, since now the painter has moved forward one, the painter is no longer on wet paint or is on paint. Therefore, I will not move forward an additional square. So only this line of code runs. The line of code in here doesn't because this if is false. We don't actually need that, though. I just want to understand if statements. And don't believe. Yeah, good. All right, we got this down. Um, word. 